So the final one is from Sarah Headley Hyman. So Sarah's um, Euronews travel journalist. She writes for Sunday Telegraph, etc. So her question is actually just a personal one, really. Is so what, in your opinion, what's the best ever travel collaboration you've seen? So it could be ten years ago, twenty years ago, last year. Who are the brands? Why did it stand out for you? And that's more of a personal. You thought, wow, that's a really great concept. You know, we, we, we touched on earlier about the, um, the, the, the airline alliances. And I would probably like to think that they were probably the most, I mean, to be able to get these, all these airlines around the world to, to sign up to two, you know, three or four alliances and feed off each other, feed into each other, how they managed to take their, you know, you know, if you're, you're, you're flying from Glasgow to, to, to London and then you're going London to Dubai, and you're on an alliance, how to work out you know, the, the, the Glasgow London section and then you know, who gets what share and then you've got the, you know, the, air, the use of lounges and airline lounges and I just think that that, that was probably the most innovative um, for the travel industry which drove travel, drove the travel world and allowed people to, to link with, with flights and and you know, you know the concept of, of Emirates, where you know every every flight going into Dubai is, is a is a feeder flight for another flight. It's a very yes, yeah. very very clever concept. And um, and you know, if I know that if I go on Gatwick flight, whatever it is, it's full of Australians going on to Australia. If I go from Heathrow to somewhere else, it's going to to India or or to to, to Hong Kong. You know, and so every flight is linked to a, to a, to another one. And obviously, that's it's a lot easier, I presume, if you've got one airline doing it. Whereas if you've suddenly got 10 airlines doing it and, and, and managed to get it right, which they have, and obviously through, through systems, I would like to say that that's, that is, that's a very uh, a good one. I mean, one of, the, one of the nicest collaborations that I've, I, I, I ever came across, not necessarily it was in the food industry and tourism, was when uh, McDonald's and Burger King did the the collaboration and for, for, for charity. I just thought yeah. that was so, so good. Where Burger King went in and they said, we will not sell whatever on this day. Oh, so you go to McDonald's yeah. and, you, and you buy it. And that, that, is, that is, you don't often hear of that type of collaboration and, 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 and the work. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's what you're going to see um, more of, you know, someone was saying about collaborations, where collaborations will explode, it's where it's going, and it's not about, let's come up with an idea, there's so much meaning and purpose behind some, and, and actually we were looking at that Burger King and McDonald's one, so actually, when would you ever think two of the largest rivals in the world would come together, and they came together for a collaboration for a good cause, and a good cause yeah. had purpose, and it, it worked. It's beautiful. Yeah, good on them. Good on them both. So that, that, that was a good one. And um, I mean, they're, you know, you know they're, they're brands which have collaborated with the, with, with mattresses, so you know, to sell themselves as a as a good mattress um, thing. But you know, I mean, we've always looked at it. If you if you look collaboration to to create image, and then there's collaboration to drive rooms and drive bookings and you know i think i think in today's world with the with social media and, and influencers and followers and people with databases and yeah we mentioned um you know musicians and um, billy uh, island who's got uh, 200 almost 300 million people watching a thing the, the marketing ability of a person like that is huge you know oh. and as as are you know the new ga gaming heroes and i'm afraid these are the people you've got to work with follow align with um, because they've just got following and, and they can spread spread the word, but they also want to know that your product can fit their image. And and that's what it's all about. And and every every one of us in the industry now has got a, a job to do to make sure our product fits an image which will attract whoever are going to be the new clientele in our area and in thing. You know, so yeah, right now, I would probably say that 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 Dubai has probably got the the, the strongest tourist um, opportunity of anyone anywhere in the world, almost. 
Yeah. And, you know, so, you know, does Dubai need to do any, anything more than what they're doing now just because they've got the lift? It's all about lift. If you've got lift, you're going to have customers. And, and that's certainly on the short term. And, you know, what I would be doing if I was them, I, I'd just be really careful. You don't allow people with, to come in and bring in, in, in a lot of the uh, COVID and then spread it to, to people when they're here. Just got to be very careful how you, how you look after it, because I think we all saw the repercussions of what happened over Christmas. Mm -hmm. And because then you suddenly, you lose any alliances that you have or collaboration because people just can't, Lincoln with it and you know safety is going to be a big part of it and yes. people don't want to be stuck away on holiday and then suddenly that destination is closed down because they've been irresponsible in their in in their, yeah. their thing well that goes and, back to the experience is in a 360 experience of wow factor service hygiene safety yeah. is a whole thing and and so what we what we're saying I mean really uh, the point of the, to the is it is that you You've got to look after your collaboration because your partners are going to get very upset if you if you don't bring your side to the bargain as a, a in a collaborative term. So yeah, yeah. The governments are collaborating. You know, I mean, the UK have just uh, announced that on the seventeenth of of May or whatever, yeah, you know, they're going to bring in five or six new countries onto the green list to allow it, and and Dubai and Dubai is one of those, and Portugal, Dubai, and, and a couple of others. And so, so there's collaboration for a start, government to government collaboration, but look after it, you know, don't, don't because they'll slow, they'll close that collaboration down very quickly. If, if yeah, it's, it's protecting one another.